Legislative elections and ideological divisions among Democrats are looming over major initiatives backed by Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham, from new gun restrictions to recreational marijuana legalization and pension reform. On Friday, the governor said she'll take cues from last year's successful negotiation to increase the statewide minimum wage as she pushes for a red flag law that would allow police or relatives to ask a court to temporarily take away household guns, as well as seek $35 million in new general fund spending to underwrite tuition-free college for 55,000 students. In legislative committee hearings, the governor's free tuition proposal for in-state students has run into early criticism from prominent Democrats. On the red flag gun proposal, 29 of 33 county sheriffs opposed the initiative as currently written. Gun control proposals in 2019 spawned a Second Amendment sanctuary movement in mainly rural areas of New Mexico, where sheriffs presented resolutions to their county commissioners saying they would not be required to enforce the new laws. This Thursday, Roosevelt County, along with Eddie and Chavez County officials, will be hosting a Second Amendment rally outside the Roosevelt County Courthouse in reference to Senate Bill 5. Roosevelt County Sheriff Malin Parker was re-elected sheriff in 2018 and continues to advocate for his constituents. We basically want to oppose this bill because it is not a well-written bill. It violates your first, second, and fourth amendment rights by denying you uh, your due process and also taking out probable cause for an illegal search and seizure. This bill is basically written and sponsored by people that really don't understand that we already have laws in place that take care of this. New Mexico last year extended background check requirements to nearly all private gun sales and prohibited firearm possession for people under permanent protective orders for domestic violence. Well, it helped a lot in the last legislative session. They did get a piece of uh, gun control legislation through. So people saw that as a marginal victory, you know. But the first thing they do is go back after the one they didn't get passed last time. And so I've heard both sides that it may go through and that it may not but it's just crucial that we as free americans that want to keep their right to bear arms it's it's crucial that you stand up and tell them now though many understand that the timing for this rally is unfortunate attendance is reported to be crucial in the upcoming legislative session it's just it's crucial because if we don't have a good turnout i think it's going to send a clear message to santa fe that we don't really care we want to send a message out there that we're not just going to sit back and let you strip away our our right so we just want to get the message out to everybody that this is not a political affiliation type rally uh there's a lot of progressive democrat people out there there's a lot of republican people independent people that don't want to uh, lose their rights any rights but basically the second amendment as well uh their right to keep and bear arms supporters of red flag laws say they reduce gun violence, including suicides, and lessen the risk of mass shootings. Gun rights supporters contend they violate not only the right to own firearms, but other constitutional guarantees, including the rights against unreasonable searches and seizures. It's unconstitutional. Uh, It denies people of their rights and freedoms. And if we let this bill go by, uh, what else are we going to let go by? Some people think the sheriff's office sanctioned this event, but we did not sanction it. This is the sheriff, and it's just been labeled that by some because I am the elected official. But my guys will be at the rally just basically helping with traffic, that kind of stuff. But this is not a sheriff's office sanctioned event. This is something that my constituents want me to do. So that's what I'm doing. And it's also something that I'm very passionate about. Leading Republicans in the House minority have vowed to protect gun rights during the upcoming legislative session. For more news as it happens, click yournewsnm.com.